the next problem on NPLMI is obtain BCR for a random sample of N drawn from a normal population with mean mu and variance sigma square for testing the hypothesis H0 such that mu is equal to mu0 and H1 such that mu is equal to mu1. As we know that using NP lemma means there are a certain sequence of steps to obtain the BCR. The first one is nothing but you should identify the distribution from which the sample is drawn. Here the sample is drawn from normal distribution. Therefore the PDF will be, I think you know this is the PDF for normal distribution. After writing the PDF, you should write L. L is nothing but likelihood function which is equal to fx1 into fx2 into fxn which is equal to here in the in the PDF uh, as fx1 means you should replace only x with x1 and remaining all are same. So you will get 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x1 minus mu by sigma whole square fx2 means 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x2 minus mu by sigma whole square and the last pdf is nothing but n 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 xn minus mu by sigma whole square so as we have 1 by sigma root 2 pi common in all these n, ter n terms and is multiplied for n times you will get 1 by sigma whole power um, root 2 pi whole power n into here the bases are equal and you can add the powers so we can write that as 1 by 2 sigma xi minus mu by sigma whole square so we wrote l after writing l you should write L0 and L1 which are nothing but likelihood functions under H0 and H1. So then you should find out L1 by L0 then log L1 by L0. So let us write L1 and L0. What is L0? L0 is nothing but likelihood function under H0. What is H0 here? H0 such that mu is equal to mu0. What is L1? So L0 will be 1 by sigma root 2 pi whole power n okay into e power minus 1 by 2 in the uh, likelihood function you replace mu with mu naught I think this is the uh, L naught here and what is L1? L1 is likelihood function under H1 what is H1? mu is equal to mu1 so here 1 by sigma root 2 pi whole power n e power minus 1 by 2 sigma xi minus mu1 by mu1 by sigma whole square. So we wrote L1 comma L0. Now what is uh, what does NP lemma states that? NP lemma states that for omega to be the BCR it should satisfy L1 by L0 greater than k for all x belongs to omega and L1 by L0 less than or equal to k for all x belongs to omega bar so uh, we are going to use the first condition which is nothing but l1 by l0 greater than k for all x belongs to omega so as the p here also the pdf is uh, involving exponentials instead of considering the condition like l1 by l0 greater than 0 we can take log l1 by l0 greater than log k so let us find out L1 by L0, the ratio of L1 by L0 and then log L1 by L0. What is L1 by L0? L1 by L0 means the ratio of these two. So 1 by sigma root 2 pi whole power n e power minus 1 by 2 sigma. This is L1 divided by what is L0? L0 is the same term with 1 by n xi minus mu0 whole square. So L1 by L0 is nothing but 1 by sigma root 2 pi whole power n e power minus 1 by 2 xi minus mu1 by sigma whole square into as L0 is in the denominator you will get sigma by root 2 pi whole power n into 
that e power minus 1 by 2 x minus uh, x minus mu naught whole square will become plus here you will get 1 by 2 x i minus mu naught by sigma whole square these two will get cancelled and you will get e power minus 1 by 2 sigma x i minus mu 1 by sigma whole square so as the bases are equal you can add the powers So you got L1 by L0 is this term. Let us simplify this. From these two terms we can take out 1 by 2 sigma. The sigma square and here also we have sigma square which is independent of i. So we can take out minus 1 by 2 sigma square common from these two terms. You will get xi minus mu1 whole square plus xi minus mu0 whole square. Let's again expand using the identity a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square. It will be x i square plus mu 1 square. If I take out minus common here, I think you will get minus here. If I take out minus 1 by sigma square, you will be here with minus. So minus 2 sigma x i mu 1 and here minus x i square you will get plus mu naught square this will be minus mu plus and here you have minus that will be minus mu naught square minus 2 x i will become 2 x i mu naught so here x i square x i square are going to cancel 1 by 2 sigma square sigma mu 1 square minus mu naught square minus from these two you can take out 2 x common then you will get mu 1 minus mu naught so if you uh, take sigma to each of these terms 1 by 2 sigma xi square okay so how much you will get sigma mu1 square minus sigma mu0 square minus 2 sigma xi into mu1 minus mu0 so minus 1 by 2 sigma square yeah, as this is uh, the sigma always runs on i as there is no term involving i you will get n mu1 square minus n mu0 square minus 2 if I can take out mu1 minus mu0 out of the sigma you will be with sigma xi so what is the formula for x bar x bar is sigma xi by n from this in all the terms we have done the same sigma xi can be replaced with nx bar so uh, following the same you will get L1 by L0 is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 2 sigma square okay sigma if I take out Ni uh, sigma uh, and if I take out Ni comma mu1 square minus mu0 square we are replacing sigma xi with x bar so uh, what is the condition we are going to use uh, this is all e powers okay we are going to use log l1 by l0 greater than log l0 if you take out logarithms here log for uh, l1 by l0 this is e power no you will get minus 1 by 2 sigma square n into mu1 square minus mu0 square minus 2 n x bar into mu1 minus mu0 log e to the base e will be 1 so you got this as log l1 by l0 log l1 by l0 greater than k means minus 2 sigma square into n into mu1 square minus mu0 square I think all the as I said you to find out the BCR as uh, x bar is the estimator for mu uh, you should replace okay you should have only x bar on the LHS all the other terms should be trans uh, transform transposed to the other one so let us go one by one let us first shift let us first shift this uh, sigma square to the RHS okay minus okay you have minus also here n into mu1 square minus mu0 square minus 2nx bar into mu1 minus mu0 greater than log k into 2 sigma square then as you have minus here let us uh, absorb this minus in these two terms then this will be n into how much you will get if you multiply this minus to both of these terms this becomes mu naught square minus mu 1 square okay this will be minus into minus will be plus 
टू एन एक्स बार इंटू म्यू वन माइनस म्यू नाट ग्रेटर दैन टू सिग्मा स्क्वे लाट की सो लेट दिफ्ट दिस् टर्म टू दर्च दूल गेट टू एन एक्स बार इंटू म्यू वन माइनस म्यू नाट एन इंटू म्यू नाट स्क्वे मैनस म्यू वन स्क्वे then uh, if you take uh, isolate x bar here x bar greater than 2 sigma square log k minus n into mu not square minus mu 1 square by 2 n mu 1 minus mu not so for the given set of uh, uh, n points the bcr will be uh, x bar uh, x such that x bar greater than k double dash if you consider this as k double dash For a given set of, uh, for a given L O S called alpha, the va the values which satisfy probability of x bar greater than k dash given h not is equal to alpha will be the B C R. So the B C R will be x one, x two, so on, x n such that x bar greater than k dash. Okay, thank you.